Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Carpo Gaming and another Fallout 76 video. Today we're going to be showing you the best player vendor camp deals and steals volume 21. See, this is a new series that I've been doing to showcase all of the wonderful shops and the deals that you can find right here in the wasteland. So what I do is I gather out all that information throughout the week and bring it to you all to make my shop one of the best in the wasteland. So yeah, some of these shops don't make the cut and some of these prices are kind of overpriced. But that's not what this is about. This is about the best deal. But before we get started, if you want some of the cheapest prices on in-game items, goals, and coin, visit AOE.com and use the code CARFO for 3% off. The first vendor camp we're visiting this week is Chrishell 67 Camp, just located just a little bit west of the White Springs Resort. Now let us go ahead and load in and check out this player's camp. Outside we have plenty of fruit and corn as you can see right here loot fruit always good to grab those items and the reason why i be grabbing those items is to pretty much fund my travel everything costs caps in fallout 76 right so i gather up those and pretty much sell them for what they are that way i'm pretty much not really spending money traveling in fallout 76 now let's have a look at some of the items not bad not bad at all you have some pretty decent items when it comes to legendaries always the purposes of the video is to let you know what you should be selling yours for and how you can make some caps and whether or not you're getting a good deal. Now when it comes to legendaries, armor, and weapons, you want to make sure these have three good stat rolls or two good stat rolls. If not, they're pretty much scripts and it's going to be very hard for you to sell these items for whatever price that you are selling them for. After all, you can always just go to the purveyor and get yourself some legendaries, right? Now, when it comes to mod, look at these prices. Just excellent, excellent prices. As always, you want to keep them 20 caps and below. Obviously, this dude is right on point with the price point. So, I went ahead and picked myself up a mod. Very good. Very, very nice. Now, the second video. Oh, my God. It's just making me cry. Just a little... I got to tell them. Oh, my God. The prices here is just horrible. And I wanted to include this. Oh, God. Oh god, I have to disinclude this. We're headed to the Devil Man 1976 camp. Now, this camp is, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not going to hate on anybody's camp. But the prices, yeah, I mean, he's going to be sitting on these items for quite some time. The reason why I'm including this in the video is the best player camp deals and steals. But these are not deals and these are not steals. He's going to be sitting on these items for a while, and I want to make sure you kind of avoid these mistakes. So let's let's have a look. Yeah, the anti-armor minigun, 25% uh, faster fire rate. That's not going to get it down for 10,000 caps. Come on, son. It's going to be sitting on that for quite some time. Now, some of these plans hit and miss all around the place. T60 jetpack for. 2,000 caps in the T-51 jetpack, which I absolutely got one for like 45 caps. Come on, bro. You're going to be sitting on that for a long, long time. Uh, what we were saying just earlier about the stat rolls. 10% damage player, 25% faster fire rate. For that price, get out of here. Look at that. 25% faster rate, 1 agility, damage increase on consecutive hits. For 15,000? Yeah. Not, not for my caps. <laughs> I'm sure not in here would be by that either. So yeah, the prices on here, like I said, it's kind of crazy. Look at that, twenty thousand for that. Would you buy that? The damage is at fifty nine. I think not. I think not. So when you're out there and you are pricing these legendaries at your camps, you have to keep in mind, like I said, you can always just go to the purveyor and get a legendary. They have to have good stat rolls, and then you'll be able to sell it. If not, oh my god. Oh my god, just stop it. You know what I'm saying? I'll be traveling around in these camps and hopefully looking for some great deals. And every now and then you run across a camp like this. And I wanted to include this camp as well because it, it looked great. It looked great. Nice little, little, little pit stop, so to speak. Very nice layout. I like the layout. But once again, this guy had horrible prices. Couldn't even include it in the video because I already just did there. And we're moving on. Now, if you are still here, we are at Captain Obvious Camp. Now, Captain Obvious Camp 
It's pretty freaking cool. Friends are welcome. Yes, indeed they are. Now we head on to his camp, and yeah, this is very, very nice. We have a bear fruit trap, a little can right there, a little punch bowl, get my little drink on, you know what I'm saying? Why not when you're in a wasteland? You gotta have some fun. Head around to the back, and it's purifiers, nice and clean, but there was locked. That's always sucked. Yeah, why not? Let's play a little drum. Da -da 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 -da. Boom. All right, now we are out. Let's head back inside, check out the camp, and let's see what kind of deals this guy has. That door is locked. Can't get in there. We have vendors. Okay, head inside. Nice. Nice. Very nice. 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 A Nuka Shine. Bottles in the display case. I'm not mad at that. Not mad at that at all. Not a bad layout for this camp. Not bad. Not bad at all. So let's check out the deals and see what kind that he has right here. And oh my god. The one-stop shop for your serums. That's right. 325 caps is a pretty freaking good price. 400 is standard. Anything below is excellent. And he has plenty of here. So if you're on the same server and you see this guy, head on over to his camp because I'm pretty sure he's going to have some serums as he had multiple ones as you can see right here. Now, we're going to head over here to the legendaries. And the legendaries are actually priced pretty good. And some of the stat rules are pretty good. Now, this is what I'm talking about. If you want to sell some legendaries, you can have them priced for a couple thousand caps. You got to make sure they have the right rolls. And this guy absolutely is on point with his prices. Now, the Fashion at a Man Mask, I've seen it go for as low as 25. So, 100 is a little bit high on that. But nonetheless, the guy prices are pretty freaking good. So, if you want to sell Fashion at a Masks and stuff like that, it all depends on what type it is. And then you can set the price. But the Man Mask, you can find that in game. You find a lot of them in game. So, you know, it is what it is. But not bad, not bad at all. Now, if you made it to the end, you are in for a treat. Probably the best camp I've ever been to. Blackjack 5150 camp. It's not a camp at all. Welcome to Barterstown. That's right. This dude made his camp into a town. And it is phenomenal. When you walk in, you feel like you're actually walking into a whole little town section inside of Fallout 76. Thumbs up to you, Blackjack, bro. Your camp was amazing. I had an amazing time here, as you were about to see. Like I said, you're in for a treat. Now we head over here to the bar area. Not bad, not bad at all. As you can see, this is absolutely a town. What he did with his camp was an amazing idea and inspired me. I absolutely want to make a town too. I mean, everything that he had in here was excellent. He had so much traffic coming into his camp. I mean, it was countless people coming in, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I know, just like I was, I was shocked when I first saw it and I was happy and I was just like bravo because this is just amazing yes he made a town out of his camp now this is pretty cool and this only happened in Fallout 76 I decided when in Rome let me go here play a little bit and before I knew it I had another person joining the session and then, last but not least, the man himself, Blackjack, decided to hop on out of his power armor and come in for a little jam session. So, right now, I'm going to go ahead and show you that in game. Pretty freaking sweet. Only in Fallout 76 can something like that happen. Matter of fact, the Fallout 76 community is pretty freaking cool. So, with that said, let's check out some of the deals. And I'm pretty sure he had some good deals, but man, all of this stuff was gone. Yeah, people coming left and right and left and right. And I'm pretty sure he's going to make a lot of caps because a lot of these prices was priced pretty freaking good. That Ultrasight Jetpack. That was interesting for $13.99, although it's the first time I've ever seen it, so it might be a good price, it might not be. But the T60 jetpack for $3.99, not bad. A lot of these prices, not bad. I will never forget this cap, and every time I log in to Fallout 76, I'm going to be looking to this right here. I'm going to be looking right here at this area. I'm going to be looking for Blackjack's cap, and I suggest you look for this too, because Barter Town was freaking amazing the best camp well it's not even a camp the best town that i've seen in fallout 76 i will never forget this place 
that I'll be looking for right next to the White Springs station. Make sure when you load in Fallout 76, look out for Blackjack Camp, aka Border Town. Blackjack 5150, bravo to you, my dude. This is by far one of the best camps I've ever seen in Fallout 76. So yeah, that's pretty much going to end it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you truly enjoyed it. It has some pretty nice deals and another lovely camp right here in Fallout 76. So, as always, if you are new to the channel, hey, welcome. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you really want to help out the channel and the video, you can do so by liking the video if you indeed like the video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.